Valentine's Day may be over, but to those romantics out there who are going to have a date for the whole year round, this look is for you. First, you will need black eyeliner to fill your outer V and lower lash line, then let it with a crease brush or pencil brush. This will act as an eyeshadow to darken that area. Next, get a warm brown eyeshadow and low that above the black using a clean blending brush. This will make it look warm and well blended, even though it's not. To open up the eyes, use white eye pencil and apply it on your waterline. Be careful in pulling your under eye skin while doing this as you don't want to drag it down too much. Here, I'm using Fashion 21 White Eyeliner. After that, apply an eye primer. You can use any kind of eye primer and just using champagne from ELF which has a little bit of shimmer in it. Then get a soft rose colored eyeshadow like this one from VO and apply that just on the inner lid area up to the center. After that, get a bronze or gold eyeshadow and mix it with a little bit of Scandinavia and apply on the outer corner of the eye but not too much that it covers the black and brown shadow earlier. This will give her eyes more definition and glow at the same time. Back to the brown eyeshadow from Glory of New York using a pencil brush. Apply this on the lower lash line to make it look warm. I just forgot to apply this earlier. And then grab the lightest eyeshadow from the same palette and highlight your brow bone and tear duct. We're done with the eyeshadow. Now take a gel liner or you may use liquid or pencil liner. Whatever you prefer, I just like to use gel because it doesn't reflect light like liquid liner and it stays on for hours unlike pencil. It's best to use a fine liner brush for precision or you may use an angled eyeliner brush if you're not used to gel liners yet. After lighting our eyes, of course, we must apply mascara. This one I'm using is one of my favorites and it was recommended to me by my friend Tina Arches who's also a YouTube blogger by the way. Check her out, she's really great. Anyway, make sure that you have curled your lashes first and then apply mascara on your upper and lower lash line. Adding falsies is only optional. Then grab the black pencil again and tight line your eyes. Tight lining makes a big difference as it can make your lashes look even fuller. This one is also one of my favorites. Contour your cheekbones with a shade that is close to your skin tone. I like this bronzer wood matte because the shade looks really natural on me. Next, I'm mixing two blushes from the Look Beauty Candy Floss Blush and Highlight Palette. One is on the peachy side and the other is pink with very fine shimmer in it. I'm only applying little amounts so that it's not too obvious. I just want a little blush in my cheeks. Now to tie everything together, you can opt for a lip stain or a lip balm like this from Look Beauty again if you just want to go heavy in the eyes but light on the lips for your date. But if you're like me, he'll just wear it for the sake of taking pictures and not actually going on a date, you might want to wear something more opaque. I'm using Look Beauty Lip Liner in Toffee Cup and then applying a generous amount of PAC De Rose Lipstick, which is a gloss lipstick. I'm loving this lipstick combination as of the moment, but you don't have to wear these three colors. You may stop at the lip liner if you want matte. Then for more shine, I'm just applying this light berry liquid lipstick aka lip gloss from Fanny Serrano on the center of my lips. This one is really perfect for night outs or dates because it has a mirror and a light as well. Lastly, set your makeup with a setting spray and then I'm finishing it with my favorite Iris Translucent Powder. This powder has always been in my videos ever since. I don't know what I'm gonna do without it. And that's it, we're done with the makeup. Anyway, how was your Valentine's Day? Me, I just played with makeup the whole day, updated my planner, drank a cup of tea, and found my nails. Just kidding. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Please send me pictures if you try this look. I would like to see it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share the love. Goodbye.